What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be tearing apart this YFZ motor. Um, this is out of a 2007. Uh, we just pulled it, check out the last video. Uh, it'll be, um, I think right here. But uh, check that out, um, so you see part one. It's just a big time lapse of us pulling it. But uh, now we're diving into what could possibly be wrong with it. I'm pretty sure it's just the oil rings uh, on the piston. Uh, probably just that's why it's smoking. But I accidentally ran it a little low on oil. And uh, we're going to hope that my top end's okay. Got a tiny, tiny bit of noise. So hopefully it's nothing. Um, it was just uh, I caught it too. I caught it pretty early. But uh, let's tear apart this motor and see what we, uh, see what we got. Alrighty guys, so we got the cams out, and uh, our lighting situation just got a lot worse Bless due you. to the ballast going out right above, so if uh, this next bit of footage looks like ass, Junk. that's why. So um, as you can see there, you can see our valves now, kind of nice, mm -hmm. um, and the shims and all that, good stuff. Uh, we got the cam chain held up for the stupid timing chain. I'm not used to that stuff, too short guy. But um, we got that done, and we're just gonna keep on chugging away to see what uh, the problem really was. <laughs> seeing this just as I see it it is a rebuilt uh, motor this is an aftermarket piston mm -hmm. so got a pretty good amount of carbon buildup on it but it looks all right and now it's our first time looking at the uh, we could actually see the cylinder I'm very really concerned about it being bad what do you see some uh, metal in there or something no just kind of gouge it up. You might need a new one of these. All right, let me see. Man, I don't. See, it's really hard with that light. Stupid. I don't. I don't see any cross hatches. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have huh? to look. We'll have to get it under better yeah. light. All right, let's go under a better light. Alrighty. So as you can see in here, kind of right there. That doesn't look too pretty. And you can see a little spot there. So that's my issue. Um, also, I'd like to make a note. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Why won't you focus a piece of junk? Hot rods crank in there. So this has yeah. been rebuilt. To guarantee it has been blown up before. Mm -hmm. Nice. But um, there's hot rods in it at the moment. So I guess that's sort of good, sort of not good. But uh, this is where we stand. So... We're going to send some pictures to some people to see uh, how that the cylinder looks just to get some reference because I don't know much about these. Alrighty guys, so I did not look at any of that footage, but all I know is that this is a couple days in the future and I guarantee you it's shot. Um, the ballast right there, it went out um, as we were filming and the lights were flickering and then it just burned out. So we had to use this guy and that thing as a piece of junk. Um, so the lighting's probably trash from that. Um, and as you can tell, we didn't have the daylight like we did um, now. So the lighting in this portion is probably fantastic. The last one sucked. But 
back to this quad. Um, we pulled the cylinder out as you saw. It's right here. Um, it is shot. The uh, as you can see that it's all worn there, and there's a ridge around that. So this this is cooked. Um, my options are uh, get that replated. Um, it'll they'll do like a kind of a, a bore on it, replate it, and then I get an oversized piston. Um, or I go with an OEM piston or OEM cylinder with a stock bore. Uh, that's an option as well. But the actual option that I'm going with now, I've heard some mixed reviews on it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right because people say if you do it right, it's good. But the YFZ is going to a 478, so it is going to be a big bore. So we're doing the big bore YFZ project now. That has changed from rebuild to more money, <laughs> real fast. Um, I weighed out the options, and it is about the same price either way that I do it. Actually, doing the stock cylinder with the stock bore is quite a bit more expensive. It's about I don't know 60, 70 dollars more expensive. Um, so we've got that to do. We've got to put a clutch in this thing. And we've got two, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, this right here, this is a cam uh, chain guide. And if you can tell here, it's shot. Um, it's all kind of eaten up and I don't know why, but it's garbage. So I'm gonna replace that because I really don't want it to, I don't want the chain to break and then that'll be a bad day. Um, so we're just gonna do that. Um, but this project's going to take a little bit longer than now because of this problem. Uh, before, if I didn't have to do this, it would have been done by probably December. But it's looking like I'm not going to be able to buy the parts for a little while just because I've got uh, storage to pay for those things. Yay, New York. And uh, if you notice um, outside, there's snow. So there's that. So those got to go first. Those are more priority because I'm getting uh, the garages going... <sighs> I'm not going to get the garage for the winter. So one of them's going, one of them's coming, and then that one's staying. So if you heard that right, I'm buying another one because I got a problem. But um, Project YFZ is uh, still underway. So give this video a big like if uh, if you like what you see. If you're this far in the video, um, let me know if you guys want merchandise. Uh, I have been toying with the idea of doing shirts. Obviously, this sweatshirt, I made this myself in tech class for free. Uh, all I had to do was buy a sweatshirt, but now I don't have that because I am not a high school student anymore. So if you guys want shirts, um, the, I'm thinking around $20 a piece with uh, black with just the white logo. Uh, same with like it's just this logo and the back. It'll say our slogan of if it ain't broke, it will be. So let me know down below if that's with something that you would like. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider it. We got a lot of cool stuff on the channel and uh, we got a YFZ build. So. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.